Hectanooka One is an arts and crafts channel on a variety of subjects. Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little top. And it's great for the summer because you can use it as a tank top or you can wear it as a vest. So let's get started. To make this top, I made two front pieces and one back piece. If the front were connected in the center, it would be exactly the same as the backs. This pattern is going to work from side to side. So the foundation chain is going to be this row here. And then you're going to work sideways in this direction. I'm going to work with a size 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. So single crochet all the way down to the end. Okay, I've worked all the way down the chain and now I'm going to work in the moss stitch. So to begin the moss stitch we're going to chain two and turn. This chain two is directly above that first stitch so that stitch is not ever going to be worked into because this takes the place of the first stitch and in this moss stitch you're going to work in every second stitch so that means we have to skip that stitch and we're going to single crochet in the next stitch now we're going to chain one we're going to skip this stitch you're going to single crochet in the next stitch so you have a chain one space between each single crochet skip, single crochet, chain one, skip, single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the last stitch. So that's the first row. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to turn and you're going to single crochet in the first chain one space single crochet in the first chain one space. That chain two at the beginning takes the place of the first single crochet and the first chain one. So now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space. You're going to complete that across the row. And that is the moss stitch. It has a lot more flexibility than if you were just making single crochet. So now I've just worked into the last chain one space. Every row will be the same now. It'll be chain two and turn, single crochet in the first chain one space. Chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space. And at the end of the row, you're going to single crochet into that chain two at the very beginning of the row. Okay, so since I'm just making a child side, this is wide enough for the underarm section. And that would be this part right here. So now I'm going to chain for this shoulder extension. We're going to work the moss stitch in these chain stitches. Chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip, single crochet. Okay, I'm working against this three month old onesie. And so I've worked a moss stitch until the shoulder is wide enough. Then in the next row, I've worked up to here. And I'm going to continue to work until the work is here, and I'm going to fasten off. Okay, 
I've worked them off stitch now until I've reached the center front. Now I'm going to fasten off and I'm going to make an identical piece for this side. Okay, I have my two front pieces made and now I'm going to make the back. I'm going to start with the foundation row and I'm going to work up to here. Then I'm just going to continue to work until I reach here. And then I'm just going to add the stitches. And then when I get to here, I'm going to come back and show you how to just finish this section. Okay, I have chained additional stitches. And I'm going to work back down. Okay, I have the back section finished. And for your very last row here, make one row of single crochet in every stitch. So that'll be a single crochet in the single crochet and a single crochet in the chain one space. And that's just so that it will be the same as this beginning row and will also make it easier to sew the seams together. Okay, so now I'm going to sew the side seams together and I'm going to sew them together at the shoulder. So here's the finished vest for the baby size and unfortunately I've lost the footage showing where I finished the um, loopy bottom and the edging around the front, around the neck and the sleeves. So I'm going to switch to the pink adult where I do have the footage to show you how to complete these last three steps. Okay, I've sewn up my side seams and my shoulder seams. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to skip one stitch and I'm going to single crochet in the next. So chain three, one, two, three, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, I've gone ahead and I have finished that first row of chain threes. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make row after row of this chain three pattern. Start the next row, you're going to chain three. You're going to single crochet in the next loop. Chain three, single crochet in the next loop. You're going to continue that all the way around over to this side and then you're going to do the same thing. Chain three and turn, single crochet in the first loop. You're going to make as many rows as you want. Okay, I have worked a total of eight rows. This is where I stopped and now I'm just going to work up the side front all the way around the neck come back down this side front okay so I'm going to begin working up this front so I'm going to chain two and I'm going to double crochet in that same loop and then I'm going to double crochet in the single crochet at the end of the next row and then it's going to be a loop so I'm going to make two double crochet in that loop And I'm going to double crochet in the single crochet at the end of the other row. So that's how I'm going to continue two double crochet in the next loop, double crochet in this single crochet, two double crochet in the next loop. And I'm going to work up the front and I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch and then I'm going to skip every fourth stitch so that's one two this is three the fourth stitch I'm going to skip that one so one two three skip one two three so you can see that by skipping every fourth stitch 
it keeps this even so that it's not too many stitches. So I'm going to work all up the front, around the neck, and then I'm going to come down the other front. Okay, I've worked all the way around, and I started on this side, and I ended on this side, and now I'm going to fasten off, and I'm going to attach the yarn at the underarm, and I'm just going to single crochet evenly all the way around both armholes. Here's where I single crochet in each stitch all the way around the armholes. And I sewed buttons, and you can then use the spaces between the double crochets as buttonholes.